What up, ladies and gentlemen, Jesse Warden here. I am currently in Orlando, just arrived, and some of you were asking, what is my food situation? Why do I spend four hours in the kitchen making healthy food? I really make the coworkers nervous, taking whipped cream shots all day. Programming, gaming, fitness, Jesse Warden. I travel sometimes for work, and I refuse to eat unhealthy while on the road to negatively affect my fitness goals, which requires me to cook a lot in the kitchen. Also, I have to do four days worth of food for me, so that's lunch and dinner, lunch and dinner, lunch and dinner, lunch and dinner. And one of those lunches and one of those dinner is actually high carb, or reasonably high carb, consistent with a little bit more rice, a lot more protein, things like that. So as you can see here in my rental car, I have my carry-on bag. So as you can see, I have my food for the four days. I have the two bigger ones for the carb day, which have a little bit more rice. But everything else is turkey and chicken and this week hamburger. Last week it was, or two, I don't know, three or four weeks ago, it was salmon for the fat day. It's still cold, even without the ice cubes. As you can see, it's a ton of green packed in there with turkey burger and wild and then mix of wild and brown rice. So it's about 100 to 150 grams of protein per serving. Uh, sometimes I manage to cram in 200 grams in there to get my protein macros up. I've also got uh, tuna in the bottom there as well as in my bag to compensate for a pure protein solution if I don't have shrimp. What I do is I will take these guys inside, inside my bag, and there's a refrigerator in there. And sometimes I'll hit the uh, grocery store for other things. But also, good news, bacon. So as a fat day, I can supplement my protein and fat macros with that, and it helps keep the hunger away. It's the thick kind. Put it on the grill right before I left. As you can see, this is why I now have a computer backpack instead of a knapsack, so I can eat all the food when I travel. And there they are. Now part of traveling is that you're not gonna bring everything you could possibly have. Some of it, you're gonna have to POC or Metal Gear Solid wise, procure on site. So you're gonna go to a grocery store, you're gonna get things that you don't normally have or you can't possibly pack. Fruit, vegetables, you can pack those, right? Vegetables won't stay as well as a lot of portable fruit will. However, grocery stores have all that stuff. For example, if you're looking for a good fat option, you have these uh, hummus singles. So you can have a small one and put the rest in the fridge. Who cares? Just about any crappy hotel has this thing, a refrigerator. Most, even if they don't have them in room, you are allowed to ask for them. So they will bring them to your room and you can store all kinds of leftovers in here, including leftover food or food that you don't have refrigerated at the office. You can put it in here and get it in the morning. You can also get supplementary protein items. For example, these hard boiled eggs. I went to the grocery store, got some apples. Sugar free whipped cream shots. If you look at the macros on the back here, they have just two grams of fat, right? And notice the carbs are zero. Dairy's generally not something I'm a fan of, but shots of this stuff definitely help keep the hunger away. And for the most part, healthy fat. Assuming you're not lactose and tolerant. I'll drink a ton of coffee to help keep the hunger away as well as keep me going on traveling. And this almond breeze stuff is chock full of uh, calcium and other good things. You can notice the, the macros for the most part are high in fat as well. And notice I got the unsweetened, right? So we don't want extra added weird sugar, but it still has that vanilla taste. Again, another supplemental protein option. And for carb day, I have two protein shakes. Also, if you're eating a lot of burnt bacon, the vitamin C from the orange is good, but also it's just good to have vitamin C. So on carb day, I hit this bad boy with the apples and two bananas. I brought my dinner from work. I believe tonight is turkey and chicken teensy bit of rice we're talking about maybe 13 grams total from brown and wild rice mix but majority of this container is actually green vegetables right broccoli kale spinach celery onions and a pinch of habanero in there there's a chunk of avocado you can't actually see to get um, as much fat we split up one so that's the good fat the rest of it's just chicken no fat uh, these plastic Tupperware cases, you can get them in a variety of shapes and sizes. You can get glass as well. Now, these plastic ones are disposable and they are significantly cheaper. If you're concerned about BPAs or plastic, you can buy them, use them a few times and toss them. You can get glass and if you check your baggage, it will probably crack and you don't want food all over your clothes and everything else. Even if you have status like me on airlines, you know that sometimes they will force you to check your bag even if you bring it to the gate. Plastic is nice because it can bang against things. And if you wrap a single rubber band around this, these are generally airtight, but if you wrap a single rubber band, you can generally guarantee if it does get checked, you don't have to worry about it cracking. I have a Timbuktu backpack, which has three pockets. One for the laptop to keep it nice and safe and soft and protected with cushioning. The second is for the electronics. Right, all the wired, uh, extra phones, batteries, hard drives, whatever. The third is for food. 
and it separated. Now, it's not exactly waterproof, but if I've had spills before, like walnuts, which are kind of oily, uh, almonds going everywhere. I, I forget I have a banana in there, and it gets all gooey and nasty. I can ensure that the food doesn't negatively affect my electronics. And finally, store it either on-site at your office with a community refrigerator, or most hotels, even if they don't have a refrigerator in the room, will give you a one if you request it nicely. I also recommend those little small plastic ice cubes. If you get about three or four of them, put them in the freezer the day before. They are basically ice cubes that they melt. They have water internally and they're waterproof. You can put them in your bag and help keep your food cold. So during the summer months when you're traveling, even if your bag does get checked and it gets hot because it's kind of left outside, the, the food can generally stay pretty cool. And it doesn't create a significant amount of condensation to ruin your clothes if you're worried about that. Again, my name is Jesse Warden. I hope that helps you understand that you can have healthy options while you travel in American airports, which are trying to make you as unhealthy as possible. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you got any other questions, hit me up on YouTube comments. You can be on Facebook, on Twitter, email, any other social media. And thanks for your time.